Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. It is Francesco here. If you are new to the Keep Productive YouTube channel, welcome. If you're a regular, welcome back. So in today's video, what we're going to be doing is taking a look at Evernote again. The main reason I want to do so is because there is something inside of Evernote for Evernote Plus and Premium users called Email into Evernote. Now, this is an exciting feature that I have mentioned quite a few times here on the channel. I always recommend it to beginners and for those looking to take their Evernote a step further. It's useful because when you're going about your day and you're inside your email and you want to save things like um, attachments, important emails, or information about a certain date or relevant topic, saving them directly into Evernote is easy because you can just forward the email or even reply with a BCC of the specific Evernote email address that you have. Now, this is something that I know a lot of you guys are already aware of, but there are a few features that I actually miss inside of this. Um, there are some detailed customizations that you can apply to the subject line to make it uh, more, it will easier to send the email in and to attach to things like tags, notebooks, and reminders as well. Uh, all very useful stuff. And what I wanna do in this feature today is go through that. So I'm gonna be jumping on the laptop, explaining it to you there. So let's just dive in. So for this demonstration, what we will be doing is using a notebook that I already have set up called Ideas. I've created that notebook mainly because I wanna showcase how you can send them specific notebooks and tally up the information in more detail. So I'm gonna be using uh, Newton here to send in emails via my personal account because I know that I have a belief that my university uh, email has shut down now, which I was gonna use a minute ago. So as you can see here, I've added instantly that Evernote uh, contact. So I've already had that as a contact down for a while. So if you have the ability to save it as a contact in Gmail or any of the other uh, email clients that you do have, save that one if possible. Uh, that is your unique Evernote email address. And you can find that in the account information over in settings. Now, uh, I believe in, in Evernote Premium, you can actually customize that. I'll probably share more of that in the description below as a guide. Uh, but I will also make sure to share how to find that specific email if you're struggling. But I know a lot of you guys will be watching this to really take this to a new level. Uh, so you can see here that the subject is always the headline. So let's think of an idea. Uh, let's say a crazy um, golf drive through. This is an awful idea, uh, but this is an idea that I want to add to my ideas tab, uh, my ideas notebook. So as you can see, the notebook name is Ideas. So if I wanted to add a uh, notebook uh, to this, all I have to do is add, and I could put Ideas. So as you can see here, I will send this in, and it should arrive safely in the Ideas notebook. So here we are, the email landed inside of the Ideas notebook. It took about a minute to two minutes, which is absolutely fine, I think, if you're processing your inbox. Now you can see that it also transferred the content of an email not entirely accurately, mainly because uh, that's something to do with the Evernote formatting, but it gets the idea and most of the time it will process the uh, real detail of the Medium article, or whatever you send in the details uh, for later. And of course I can modify this now. So if I wanted to add any additional notes, like uh, we need the hut to be green. I don't know, <laughs> it's a random idea. So you can see that obviously it's taken the image as the thumbnail for it, uh, and it's also got the idea. And it's also added that automatically to the notebook side of stuff. Now let's go ahead and add a tag. So here we are inside of another email. So I'm just gonna add that Evernote email address again and have a new idea. So the new idea is a, uh, a, uh, a dress for cats. I really have awful ideas. Uh, address for cat idea. Okay, uh, I'm going to remove this just for the purposes of demonstration. So I'm going to add this to ideas again in capital letters, and I'm also going to add hashtag. So I'm going to also add this to my reading list, which is a tag that I have inside of Evernote. Now, uh, maybe I need to add a picture of a cat inside here with a dress on. So uh, this is going to be the, the picture of the cat in a dress. Brilliant idea, as you can see. Uh, dress for cats idea at ideas hashtag reading list. So I'm just going to send this one in and wait for it to arrive in the ideas notebook. Okie dokie. So here we are. It has landed inside of the notebook. 
And as you can see, it's brought that brilliant picture along too. So as I mentioned, attachments and information inside that email, everything from text all the way to images, will be transferred so you'll get that in full resolution as you can see uh, i've got here reading list um, so reading list is the one available as a tag so you can actually add extra tags if you wish to if you missed out on any or you can actually go into that tag if you, you would like now just one note on here as well if i go into information you can see that it sends me the author details here and i can also view the history of that so that's just a note there that it does attach all that information. Now it's time for me to have another idea. I'm going to go over to the Compose window and show you how to use the Reminders function. So if I just go over to my personal and add that detail there, let me have another idea. Yeah, and it's a, uh, a video editing, editing software for hamsters. This is really random. So I'm gonna add the notebook ideas. Uh, I'm going to add uh, the hashtag for tags. Actually, I'm going to add it to reading list too, just so that it correlates to it. Then what I'm going to do is if I want to add a reminder inside of this, I put the exclamation mark, I put the year, I put the, I believe it's the, the month, uh, so the 10th, which is the October, and then 26. So that is tomorrow. Uh, and then I'm also going to uh, put in an image so that it brings stuff over of a hamster using a computer. So I'm going to send that one in and wait for it to arrive. So as you can see, this has arrived and you may have noticed a few things. And I wanna go few, for, I wanna go through a few of these details here. So as you can see, the hamster with the video editing software has arrived with the image, but you can see here that the tag is a little off. It's actually detected that incorrectly and placed it in the title. Now there is a slight logic to this. So as you can see, it has set a reminder and has added it to the reminder section for tomorrow, which is fantastic and you can also click and interact with that. However, the problem here is the fact that it has added this tag in and I wanted it to be a, a, a tag, a clickable tag up here. Now, the one thing that you need to do with logic when you are typing up one of these is it's really simple. So you need to, once you're typing them up, so for, for example, it could be a uh, flight reservation. Uh, let's just remove this. Uh, have I spelled reservation wrong? I think I, I think I spelt flight reservation wrong. Anyway, uh, let's say it's on Friday this week. So 2017, 10, 27, 27. So as you can see, I put the reminder first inside of this. That's where it should go and how it should appear. Then you put in the notebook or the folder that you would like to attach it to. And then you finalize with the reading at uh, the tag that is ending with. That is a general rule of thumb and a good way to practice this. So I will send this in and hopefully it will detect all of that information and put it in the right places. So as you can see here, that general rule of thumb, the title or the subject as the first part of this, the reminder, the folder, and then the tag really does help save you time. Now, as you can see, it's fitted into all three of those factors and also added itself as a element in the Friday 27th as a reminder. Now, this, as I said, is available for Evernote Plus and Premium members. Uh, this is something that I am guilty of not doing. I tend to just forward emails uh, on. However, if you modify the title and modify that subject line to the folder, the tag and the reminder, it can save you a huge amount of time processing notes inside of your inbox. As I said, I am guilty of doing this, of sending most of my stuff to Evernote inbox and then grabbing some time in the evening to process that into the different and various notebooks that I have. But this could actually save you a huge amount of time. So I've actually included this uh, as a guide in the description below. Uh, this is a guide from Evernote. So it should overview all of the stuff that you need to know uh, in order to make full, take full advantage of this one. I apologize for the really weird demonstration of this with all of the random stuff but I thought it'd be quite funny uh, and demonstrate a few of the attachments as well that can come through using this feature. So guys, uh, thank you very much for stopping by. Uh, if you're brand new to the likes of Evernote, you can check out the link in the description, which will uh, sort you out with access uh, to Evernote and hopefully provide you with an account where you can get started. Uh, Evernote is a really popular resource and I'll include my playlist with a lot of my videos about how I use Evernote and how you can maximize your Evernote usage.
So guys, I really appreciate you stopping by. I really I want to thank you for your support recently. Uh, feel free to drop into the Facebook community and jump into some conversations there, some amazing conversations, specifically about Evernote and likes that. I'll include that in the description well uh, uh, in the description as well. Thank you very much, guys. Make sure to have a great week. Keep productive, and I'll see you guys very soon. Cheers. Mm -hmm.